right here we have red ghost peppers three of them um, these guys have taken off it's just amazing how fast they've grown back here we have a sweet heat pepper that seems to be struggling picked it up at Lowe's um, but it really hasn't done very much everything on the table here is habaneros As you can see, we got quite a bit going on. Some small, some medium size, some pretty decent sized peppers. They may not look like it, but they're in here pretty thick. If you lift up the leaves, you see them everywhere. Here's my Tabasco plant. Still growing up, but doing well. These two guys right here are Anaheims, and they are starting to flower. So, in about three weeks, we should have some fruit from that. This is my Maruga mustard brain strain. These guys are just about ready to be picked. I'm gonna wait a few more days to see if we can get a little bit more color on them. And then they're gonna be harvested. This guy is a California Reaper. You can see, right now we only have one ripe. Those fellas are hot though. And here's the other California Reaper plant. It's got a bit more mature pods that are basically ready to be harvested. Again, those are wicked hot. And then down this row, we have a mixture of scotch bonnets, same thing, may not look like it, but if you lift up the leaves, you see there are scotch bonnets everywhere. And each plant as we go along, same thing. Scotch bonnets or habaneros. Every plant, every single plant has a bunch of peppers on it. So it's pretty cool. We're in zone nine here. So we get a longer planting season and basically these guys could be going as far as December. This plant right here, I think this is a cross, I actually think this is a, is a jalapeno plant that somehow got crossed with a habanero. And those are the pods that are coming out. It's loaded too. Pods are still small, but within about a week or so, they'll be double the size. And as we go down the road, same thing. More habanero plants. All of them have flowers and peppers. Some of these plants have been harvested already last week, so they don't have as many peppers on them. But as soon as we harvest, they flower up again and start producing more peppers. As you can see, these guys are loaded. It's got smaller ones. We harvested some from this one last week. But as you can see, there are flowers everywhere. And you pull back the leaves. You see there's more peppers in there. So 
same thing with this guy. Look like the leaves. Put these guys in self-wicking buckets just to kind of make it more manageable. Uh, last time I counted, we had 78 plants. It takes a while to water them. So we do have a little mini watering system, but I don't use it very often. I like to know what's going on with my plants. But the self-wicking buckets helps a lot because you don't have to water them. Once a week, maybe every two weeks, you water the plant and uh, otherwise it's good. This is back at the habanero table, we'll call it. Peppers everywhere. This is a small flower bed. So just a space that I had in the back of my house. And we had some strand, some um, extra habanero plants. We were trying to figure out a place for them. So I decided to just plant them in the ground and see what happened. And we have peppers everywhere. And these guys have been struggling for a while, not producing anything, not flowering. But as soon as we put them in the ground, they started producing. Same thing, it's kind of thick, but if you pull back, you'll see peppers everywhere inside there. And on the other side, we have Teresa's Purple Reaper. Strange plant. The pods turn purple first. And if you leave them long enough, they turn red. These guys are purple. I hope the light is okay. Come on this side. These guys are purple. And this guy's is red. And this is my chili plant. It goes through rounds, basically. Right now it's loaded with flowers. Next week it'll be loaded with peppers. A week after that, we'll harvest, and then it'll start all over again. And this right here is a sweet pepper plant. Started struggle, struggled from the start, but now it's taking off and starting to see some flowers, which I wasn't expecting so soon. I'm guessing we have until at least mid-December for all the plants in our garden to mature. We do have some plants inside the patio. Um, these again are a mix. These are habaneros. And we're just waiting for these to ripen. Maybe a few more days. And then some at the beginning stages, these are smaller. But as you can see, we have a lot of plants. These guys got it for just a few more days. These are Scotch bonnet. Kind of small, but the next round will be bigger. These are more Scotchies. More Scotch bonnet. It's a big one right there. And this is a Shishido plant. Shishito peppers, skinny guys like that. Very tasty. Pretty good for you if you have want to put in a salad, something like that. And on this shelf, we have some plants that we just took off the lights, um, and they're just ready to uh, come outside. So the one that's under here, this guy, is a chocolate reaper. This guy right here. Is it's a super hot Carolina Reaper. And 
this guy right here is a yellow scotch bonnet. I put two plants together just to try it out to see what happens. I think it'll work out just fine. And this guy right here is an Ahi Sugar Rush Peach. Beautiful pods when they mature. They turn bright peach color. And the last plant that we have, mature plant, is this guy right here. This is a Sugar Rush Cream. It's only produced two pods, but that's kind of how it looks. And when it's done, it'll turn like a bright peach color. And this plant flowered. There were tons of flowers on it, but some for some reason they dropped. And sometimes that's what happens with pepper plants. The first round of flowers sometimes drops, and the first round of pods, peppers, are sometimes small. But the second round is always good. So we, we're looking for big, big things with this wild plant. I had to put it on the table by itself because it's growing out so much. Here is our germination table. And in this tray we have a large number of pepper seedlings that we're just waiting for them to come up. Most of them are super hot. Some of them are sweet peppers. Um, there's a lot going on in this tray. Different varieties of California Reapers, Carolina Reaper, Arugas, um, Scorpion Pepper, uh, Peach Scorpion. Uh, there's a lot here. So we're just waiting for those to come up and those will get transferred into the cups like this. And then they'll get transferred into a bigger cup like this. And then they'll get transferred into a self-wicking five gallon bucket. These are the ones that are kind of hard to manage. You gotta watch them every day. Make sure that they're healthy. Um, they die pretty fast if you don't take care of them. This guy back here, you can see is struggling a little bit. I haven't figured out what's going on with him, but this morning I realized there was too much water in the bottom of the wicking cup, in the bottom of the cup. So I removed all the water and hopefully the soil will dry out completely and not kill the plant. So, those are our germinating seeds. Finally, we have a couple plants, banana pepper plants that we leave out at the front door. Still part of our garden, but we ran out of space and these guys are really tall. So we decided to put them at the front door for a little while. As you can see, there's a banana pepper right there. And again, these we just recently harvest too. So waiting for them to flower up again. Next few days, we'll start to see flowers. And within a couple weeks, we'll have peppers the size of this. And that's about half the size that they get. And that's, I believe, all of our pepper plants.